funning these? Yeah, whatever you want to do. I just want to get footage of you shooting because I'm eventually going to do a video on that. If you were cool with that. About how awful I shoot? No, about how the upgrades oh. that we did on it. See how good you are able to shoot the target here. Keep pulling. Keep pull there you go. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I That's already okay, happen. I, I am pulling. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time we're going to be talking about some upgrades that has been done to the Walther PDP. Now this is not my personal pistol. This is actually a pistol of a really good friend of mine who has decided to buy their first pistol to not only protect themselves, but their family and their home. And uh, I think it's perfect timing for this, especially for someone who is just getting into firearms. We're going to talk about all of that stuff in this video to include, obviously, the upgrades that have been done to this pistol and why as well. But before we get into that, I have to say a huge thank you to this video sponsor, and that's going to be My Patriot Supply. You guys know as well as I do that right now there is a lot of instability and especially in this world right now we're looking at potentially a lot of food shortages coming up here in the future. Now, I'm not the type of person that is just going to recommend stuff to you if I don't believe in it myself. I personally use uh, their 72 hour bags for stuff that I can put into my truck when I go on long uh, trips or whatever the case may be and if you guys are interested in not only their like 72 hour stuff but also their three month supply in the month of June you can save up to 150 bucks on those. We've got a link down in the pinned comment for prepare with fit and fire. You can swing on by there and pick up some emergency food that may come in handy here soon. Who knows? Hopefully no one will need to use it, but it's got a 25 year shelf life and it's something that I believe in. It's stuff that I'm buying for myself. If you guys choose to do so, um, I get a small commission off that sale. That's kind of how I work. I let you guys know what's going on with it. And I surely do appreciate My Patriot Supplies steadfastness in supporting channels like myself as well. So again, link in the pinned comment and in the description below. Check it out and see what you guys think and let me know what you think as well. All right, so let's get into it. Like I said, we're gonna be talking about the Walther PDP and this is going to be the four inch barreled compact version. There's a lot of different versions out there for the PDP and I've got a full length video on a review of similar pistol. I'll have a card at the end of the video for you guys to check out. But here is a lot of the upgrades that we have done and some of them are simple. Some of them were not so simple, but anyone really can do them. So uh, I can tell you, if I'm a mouth breathing knuckle dragger and I can figure out how to do it, you guys can too. So let's talk about it. Uh, let's talk about first, why did my friend Nan choose this pistol? She is new to firearms. Uh, she just shot her first pistol last year with me. Uh, she asked me to take her out and uh, teach her how to shoot and we've been out a few times. After that first time she decided that she wanted to purchase her own firearm. I allowed her to try a number of different pistols and she ultimately decided on this pistol with a small caveat. A friend of mine as well was at the range when she was trying a whole bunch of different pistols and tried his Glock 19 with comp and red dot. She really did like that pistol. However, she didn't like the ergonomics of the Glock pistols. So she decided to go with the PDP. And while she was making that decision, we researched to see if we could put a comp on it. And obviously red dot because it's optics ready from the factory and then go from there. And that's kind of how we got to this. 
Now the question is why? Why did she go with some of these different upgrades? And that has to do with her inexperience and something that she wanted to make sure that would kind of stand the test of time. What does that really mean? Well, number one, I think the PDP is going to be around for quite some time. I honestly believe that this is the pistol that a lot of other manufacturers are going to start looking to in the future as they start developing their own pistols. Two, adding the comp, adding the red dot is going to make her more confident. It's going to flatten this pistol out a lot more because I will say that the PDP does have a little bit of higher bore axis than that of a Glock. So adding the comp to this is going to help flatten this out and kind of reduce a little bit of the recoil impulse. For a new shooter, that may be something that is going to be uh, detrimental and making sure that they still have a good time, they boost their confidence, and uh, it really does also help with accuracy. We'll talk about that here in just a second. So that's kind of the why that we've got this all set up, and uh, let's go into it. The very first thing, uh, you probably can't see it, but you may see it in some of the B-roll, is we swapped the magazine release. Obviously it's normally on the left side of the firearm. We switched it over to the right side and that's a really easy question uh, or reason why. And that's because Nan's left-handed. So um, we swapped it over and realistically, uh, I've ran this at the range on my own and uh, it's not too bad. Even with it being on the right side of the pistol, I can still reach up with my middle finger and uh, eject that magazine. So there is that aspect of it. The next thing is, this is, like I said, originally a four inch barrel, and we wanted to see what we could find for barrels that were obviously threaded to accept a compensator. The lucky thing was Walther offers a threaded barrel for the PDP and PPQ. The barrels are actually interchangeable between the two different types of pistols. So that was really cool. We went ahead and picked up a 4.6 inch threaded barrel from Walther. And the great thing about it is they also included an upgraded captive recoil spring as well. So that was really cool that they provided an additional recoil spring. It's a little heavier to kind of get the slide to cycle a little bit better uh, because once you add a comp and add red dots, uh, you know, you're adding weight and you're messing up with the geometry of the barrel and, and it's um, when it unlocks and it tilts for that browning tilting action. Uh, you're going to mess with that geometry, so sometimes that spring needs to be upgraded. We found, ultimately, that this didn't need to be upgraded with the recoil spring, and we used the OEM recoil spring, but we did run into some issues. We'll talk about that here in just a second. Once we figured out the barrel, then we went and purchased a Parker Mountain Machine comp, and let me tell you, this thing is really pretty cool. Not only does this kind of um, drape itself around the slide, but it's super easy to install. PMM provides uh, videos for you guys to use to understand how to install them, but it's really simple. Uh, they include shims, and that's kind of the biggest piece is understanding how many shims you're going to need to time this correctly. Um, and you can also purchase a nylon block that goes around the compensator for you to torque this down uh, like you would like a A2 flash hider on an AR or something like that. So that was another really cool aspect of it uh, in picking that compensator up from PMM. And then moving back, we did also pick up the Hollow Sun 507C with the Vulcan red dot, uh, which if you don't know, the Vulcan red dot is going to be an ACSS Chevron style red dot, and then it's going to have a large circle around it. So as you are presenting your firearm uh, to a target, if you're off, you may see some of that ring. If you see that ring, then you know you need to adjust your pistol. It's really great as you're presenting and finding that red dot in the window, you can see that ring, okay, I need to move it, and there we go. So that was something that we went ahead and put on here as well, specifically because, like I said, Nan is a new shooter, and having something like that is kind of like training wheels for a new shooter. 
Obviously, a lot of people are using the ACSS Vulcan reticle on uh, the 507C, and a lot of experienced shooters are using it to help them in uh, shooting in very unconventional stances or you know under a car or something like that. And they can use that reticle to really figure out where they need to put that red dot when they're shooting. But realistically, for a training aspect, for a new or inexperienced shooter, that also really does help too, because once they present, if they see any of that ring, they know that something's off and they need to fix it. So that's another reason why we went with that as well. Now, what has been our experience with this uh, setup so far? Well, first and foremost, like I alluded to, we did run into some issues using the uh, included recoil spring or the heavier recoil spring. It didn't like 115 grain at all. Uh, it was just too much spring for 115 grain. We switched over to 124 grain and found that it was having issues as well. Uh, so we switched back to the OEM and found that it would run 115 grain, but we would still run into some stove piping issues. And then we uh, switched over to 124 grain, worked out very well. We got the red dye sighted in at 25 yards. And that's another thing too, with this complete setup here, Nan was really good at 25 yards, uh, about fist size, maybe a little bit larger of fist size uh, grouping at 25 yards, a few flyers here and there, but realistically I would say uh, about a fist size like this at 25 yards. And for a new shooter using uh, plus P defensive loads, uh, that was pretty impressive for uh, her to be able to do that. So since then we ran another 200 rounds of 124 grain and it has finally kind of wore itself in, worked itself in uh, to all the different upgrades that we've done. And it's turned out really, really well. I've had zero issues after running the 200 uh, rounds of 124 grain. I put another 50 rounds of 124 NATO spec ammunition through it. No issues there. And then switched back to 115 grain and found that it ran 115 grain just fine too. So again, there is some uh, break-in period that you might need to concern yourself with. With that being said, it doesn't matter if you're looking at the Walter PDP or you know Glock 19 or you know, uh, maybe even a CZ P10C or VP9, it doesn't matter. Just expect that you may run into some issues once you start changing the geometry of the barrel by adding weight. Uh, even adding a red dot to a slide may cause some issues as well. So just be prepared for that and give it some time to work itself out. And that's what we found. This is about all the upgrades that I'm going to recommend. If there's anything else that we might do in the future, and that's going to be swapping out the sights so that uh, Nan has some co-witnessing sights, but we're gonna take our time first, get her used to this setup first before we switch anything out. One question that a lot of people may be asking, well, what about the trigger? Are you gonna switch out the trigger? And to be honest with you, the Walther PDP has such a great trigger that you really don't even need to worry about it. It's going to have a nice wall, a crisp break. It's one of the best triggers out there because it's basically a Walther PPQ trigger. And then the reset is short, audible, tactile. It is really, really nice. If there's anything that we would do for the trigger, it would probably be swap out the trigger shoe to maybe make it more of a flat face trigger, but that's up to Nan and we'll worry about that on down the road. But realistically, these are the upgrades that we've chosen. These are the ones that uh, Nan has felt most comfortable with. She's really improved with her shooting. She's really feeling a lot more confident with this as well. Um, but she's still new and still has a lot to learn. I still need to teach her some things about her grip and her stance and stuff like that. I just wanted to get the basics, sight picture, sight alignment, breathing, trigger control, all that stuff. Move that out of the way first and then we can start working on grip, improving that, improving her stance and uh, getting her to maybe shoot a little bit faster as nice. well. So there you have it. 
Let me know what you guys think. Sound off in the comment section down below. What do you think about the Walther PDP? Is it the new bee's knees? Is it the, is it the new hotness? Is this what the other manufacturers should be looking at? I would really like to hear your uh, opinions about that. And then what about the upgrades? Do you like comps on pistols? Do you like red dots on pistols? Let me know. Sound off in the comment section. I would really appreciate it. That's going to cover it this time, and I really do appreciate you guys swinging by. Again, a special thank you to My Patriot Supply for sponsoring this channel. Um, realistically, I'm not getting paid to say anything good, bad, or indifferent about them. Uh, I'm just an affiliate with them, so if you do choose to um, pick up something from them, then uh, I will get a small commission. But at the same time, I'm also a... Uh, you know, customer of theirs. So uh, there's that as well. <laughs> At the end of the day, I really do appreciate everything you guys do for the channel. Not only the comments, the likes, the shares, uh, but all the people who have been getting involved in the Fit and Fire newsletter. That has been awesome to see as well. So I really do appreciate it. We will catch you guys next time. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes with high five. See you later. Bye y'all.